Jim Browdy. I am Marjorie Eakin. We are listening to 96.9 WTKK. Well, I guess you are listening. I am here <laughs> talking. That's a good point. Our number is 617-822-1969. Verizon callers pound 96.9. And we are joined by our monthly... I'm really screwing this up. We are joined <laughs> for our monthly visit yeah. by the Attorney General of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. What's her name? I'm Martha Coakley. Very good. I am going to Attorney speak General, coach. thanks. Nice to see you. Nice to see you yeah. both. Martha, we're, but before we get to that, we're going to say we are taking calls. Yes, we are the taking General calls. The Attorney General calls. The only caveat, we made it last month as well, is please don't call with something that is only peculiar to you. If you've got that kind of, we're going to give out phone numbers before the hour is over. If you've got an individual problem, which I know the Attorney General cares about, we'll tell you where to call. But if your problem relates to nobody but you, uh, any right. kindness to the listeners, like Marjorie, who's a listener, uh, please... Uh, <laughs> Don't call. That's right. If your refrigerator is broken and you're having problems with the hardware store, we don't want to hear about that we, because that's kind of a unique situation to you. Anyway, two quick things before we uh, start. Before Jim goes and we start taking some calls. I mentioned last hour, and I asked you this because you were a, a prosecutor for a long time in Middlesex County. This is not about attorney general t- kind of stuff, but the fact that um, in trials f- for sexual offenses, rape cases and stuff, that women are often much tougher on the female uh, victim than men. That's true, right? I think that's true. Uh, that's been my experience, but let me, st- it's certainly overgeneralizing, yeah. but, uh, and it may have changed. Remember, I started doing this stuff in the mid 80s, but picking juries is tricky. And one general rule is that people will bring into a jury box their own view of the world and their own baggage. And, and so, you know, for a while, it seemed that, um, you know, and, and I think it's important to understand why. I think women, uh, uh, are very uh, concerned about, as we all are, being safe. And I think in some ways you draw these lines about, well, that that guy uh, would never do that to me because I wouldn't go there, I wouldn't wear those clothes. And so in order to feel safe, you project on somebody else. Yeah. It's like, you know, my uncle, the uncle can't be a child abuser uh, because it could be my uncle. So we draw these lines around, and men do the same thing in different ways, but we draw these lines around what's, what's real and what isn't. And so I think sometimes, and I think it's changed a little bit, because they're certainly much more open about it. But there's still this stigma that attaches to reporting sexual assaults, and it's it's problem. One so, more quick one. One well, more I want to stay one. on that just for a second. I, I don't even know if it's if it's legally pro. Can, when, to use a peremptory challenge, a challenge where you don't have to give a reason to knock somebody off a jury, you're allowed to knock somebody off based on their gender? Uh, you are not based on race. You cannot do it I on know race. That, yeah. Um, I think all the. I think a judge would have a pro. I think you would have to articulate some reason other than that. But you wouldn't have to. I mean, if you knocked a woman off, the judge is not going to say to you if you use one of your free challenges. Wouldn't say why'd you pick a woman. So you. Assa- I'm not saying you did this, but you could do that. Yes. Uh, I believe that you can. But uh, I, oh, the only thing I will say, and, it, and to be honest with you, it's been a long time since I put a jury in the yeah. box, so I hesitate to make a absolute. Um, judges have become much more careful about just the use of a peremptory because there's so many categories. Obviously, uh, race is one that's clear you have mm-hmm. to articulate, but um, the peremptory challenge has been cut away a little bit. And you have to give some reason why because it's always going to be challenged afterwards. And I think that most judges would not find it sufficient uh, for you to say, well, I'm not putting this person on because she's a woman.